and the Do success I of the St. Charles East Girls Soccer doing? Program. So without yeah, further ado, let's get started. <laughs> First is Ali Arvizu. Oh, hey. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this Who was escorted by her part parent, Mark and Angie. Like, Allie has been on the varsity team for three years, was recognized as honorable mention in the newspaper last year, and is one of the team captains this year. She is a member of Peer Leadership, National Honor Society, MAP Honor Society, and Spanish Honor Society. Her future plans include attending University of South Carolina, majoring in either international business or sports management. Her advice for younger players is hard work really does pay off. If you have a goal that you feel that you can't quite reach, so the only one holding your ba you so back is yourself. <laughs> Next is Helen Finke, who is escorted by her parents, Rick and Janet. Helen has enjoyed playing four years of St. Charles East soccer while also being involved in swimming. She is a member of National Honor Society, Peer Leadership, Science Honor Society. Helen's future plans include playing soccer at Philadelphia University and majoring in health science. Her advice to younger players, make the most of the time you have while in high school. It goes by too fast, and don't be afraid to try new things and meet new people. Next is Liana Imbrogno, who is escorted by her parents, Tony and Kim. Liana has been on the varsity team for three years. She is involved with Skills USA, Yerba Club, and Photography Club. Her future plans include attending Columbia University in Chicago. Liana's advice to younger players is live life with no regrets by giving 100% in everything you do. Learn from your mistakes and strive to be better every day. I feel like I'm just zooming in and out. Next too. is Brianna <laughs> Cruitt, who is escorted by her parents, Paul and Lori. This is Brianna's third year on the varsity team. She is involved in PE leaders and FCA. Her future plans include attending Taylor University in the fall and playing soccer as well. Brianna's advice to younger players, have fun and always play your hardest. Next is Carly Pottle, who is escorted by her parents, Bob and Judy. Carly has been playing on the varsity team for three years, was named to all-conference, honorable mention all-sectional, and is one of the captains for this year's team. She plays varsity see that swag? basketball and is a member of PE Leaders and Peer Leadership. Carly's future plans include playing soccer at the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater and majoring in physical education. Her advice to younger players, enjoy all the time you have with your teammates. It goes by way too fast. There is no better feeling than being a saint. <laughs> Next is Kelsey Roxworthy, who is escorted by her parents, Rich and Heather. This is Kelsey's first year on the varsity team. She is involved in peer leadership, PE leaders, and math honor society. Kelsey's future plans include playing soccer at Central College in Pella, Iowa, and will study to become a physical therapist. Her advice to younger players is enjoy every moment of high school because it really does fly by. Make memories with your friends and make new friends along the way. Next is Morgan Settle, who is escorted by her parents, Brad and Kelly. This is Morgan's third year on varsity. She is also a member of Science Honor Society and PE Leaders. Morgan's future plans include attending the University of Minnesota, majoring in biology, and is planning on being a physician's assistant. Her advice for younger players is always work hard. It is worth it in the end. Cherish the time you have with your teammates because there is nothing like it. And finally, we have Clara Stoffel, what if it was, who is escorted by her parents, Dave and Trudy. It is. Clara has been on the I know it's recording. It's got the red thing on it. Named all-conference honorable They're mention all and academic all-conference for two years. I don't care. She is a member of Math Honor Society, Hope Club, and Peer Leadership. Clara's future plans include attending either the University of Iowa or DePaul University for business and eventually law school. Her advice to younger players, always live in the moment. It will be over before you know it. Never be content with going through the motions and play every game like it's your last. <laughs> On behalf of all the other soccer players, parents, coaches, and friends at St. Charles East High School, we wish all of these fine young women great success and happiness in their futures. So to Allie, Helen, Liana, Brianna, Carly, Kelsey, Morgan, and Clara, thank you for continuing the great tradition of fighting St. Soccer, and good luck as you move on to the next phase of your life. Let's give them all one last round of applause.